afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at Four on this Monday. Hope you all had a nice weekend. Are you, Susan? Hi, Mark. Yes, I did. Pretty quiet. I did some baking and I did some decorating. We put our lights up outside. Took advantage of the good weather before the snow flies. I know you're not going to believe this, but I put lights up, up out outside as well. Oh, <laughs> that makes me so happy, Mark. <laughs> good for you. All right, let's take a look at what's making news on this Monday. Another vaccine company says their vaccine works and is more practical than the rest. But until a vaccine is released to the public, cases continue to surge ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. Why doctors are pleading with you to not gather in large groups. And Wisconsin's election recount is underway. We'll get a status check from the Dane County clerk. But first, let's take a look outside on this nice Monday. Sun is out. However... Snow in the morning. Dana is in the backyard. Here it comes. Here it comes. It is right around the corner for us and might be a little messy outside early in the day tomorrow. So we do have an alert day in the forecast for Tuesday morning. The snow coming down during the morning commute. Anywhere from one to four inches expected with the highest amounts mainly west of Dane County. It's really going to make the road slick at times. It's going to make visibility reduced at times as well. So please give yourself some extra time as you're hitting the roads early in the day because that light snow might mix with a, a little bit of rain for us. Currently we have a pretty nice sky. It should be a really nice evening, but as we look to the southwest, we can see some light snow already in parts of Iowa. And that's just going to be moving northeast and impacting us for tomorrow. It starts after midnight, continues through the morning drive, giving us some slippery roads, and then transitions over to rain. It will stay rain through the rest of the afternoon and evening. So we're expecting those scattered showers to kind of melt away anything that might try to accumulate early in the day. Roads will be the focus for the morning right now throughout southern Wisconsin. We aren't seeing any delays. The Beltline actually good, looks pretty good currently. Same goes for downtown Janesville. From Janesville to the Beltline, we're at 25 minutes, 16 minutes to get from Sauk City to Middleton, and 9 minutes to get from Sun Prairie to downtown. We'll look at some accumulation totals and timing in just a few minutes. And we all forget how to drive after that first Always, snow. Always, yes. All right, Dave, we'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> Thousands more people in Wisconsin have tested positive for COVID-19. More than 3,000 people will be asked to quarantine for Thanksgiving. That brings the state's total since March to nearly 360,000. And 10 families will be mourning the loss of a loved one this holiday as 10 more people have died due to complications from the virus. Another potential COVID vaccine is showing promise. And this is the one being researched through trials right here in Madison at the UW. Eric Franke joins us with more on this. Eric. Yeah, that's right, Mark and Susan. The AstraZeneca trial, now the third company to release results from late stage trials that are at least 90% effective. This one being done in part at UW Health, as you mentioned. And earlier this month, Pfizer and Moderna also reporting preliminary results showing at least 95% efficacy. It may take all three of these vaccines to slow down the raging pandemic. Is one vaccine going to be better in this population than another vaccine? These are things we have to glean out as we go along, and these are questions that we're, we're continually trying to answer. But it's likely going to take five or six of these vaccine uh, candidates to, to work together uh, so that we can get this pandemic back under control. And what this vaccine is also showing is that it's more effective in lower doses. And also a huge advantage over the others is that it does not need to be stored at sub-zero temperatures. That makes it a more realistic, less expensive option for much of the world. Dr. Hartman says what's next here is to get more U.S. participation. Only about a third of the 34,000 trial participants worldwide are in the U.S. And there's about 200 of them here at UW. He says they'll continue to enroll here. And if you're interested, you can call 608 262 8300 if you want to take part in that trial. Mark. Eric, thank you. A lawsuit filed by Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty is aiming to halt Dane County's gatherings in home ban. Two Dane County residents, along with Jim Finney, Jim Finney and the Institute, filed the lawsuit. They argue that Dane County and the city of Madison have unlawfully handed over local lawmaking authority to the health department, saying only the Dane County Board and Madison City Council can make those decisions. The lawsuit also argues that Emergency Order 10 that prohibits private gatherings in homes and shuts down sports-related businesses also violates other statutes and constitutional rights. This afternoon, officials with Public Health Madison and Dane County responded to the lawsuit, saying in part, our job is to protect the health and safety of Madison and Dane County residents, and we will continue that mission on the foundation of science and data. 
News of a third promising coronavirus vaccine is bringing hope that the end of the pandemic could be in sight. However, in the meantime, infections are surging. As Nancy Chen reports, the approaching holiday could pose another big turning point. New York City is asking Thanksgiving travelers to reconsider. Please don't travel. Please change your plans if you've made them. A similar message in Massachusetts. You can't afford to do Thanksgiving and the holidays the same way we've done it in years past. But pandemic-weary Americans are on the move. Just over 3 million were screened at TSA checkpoints this weekend, and nearly 48 million are expected to drive somewhere for the holiday. Naturally, there's a little bit of nervousness that comes with traveling, but mostly I think I'm fine. All this as COVID-19 infections soared to an all-time high, averaging more than 170,000 per day. Health officials are concerned this week's gatherings will intensify the surge. It's a natural reaction to say, now, wait a minute, I know these people, you know, they're friends, they're coming in. You tend to almost intuitively and instinctively let, you, let your guard down. New York State has seen 36,000 new COVID cases in the last week. And as the holiday approaches, people are facing long lines at testing locations. Lines are even longer in Colorado and in Jacksonville, Florida, where David Robinson hoped for reassurance before Thanksgiving. We have some older uh, people that uh, in the family that we want to be protecting at this time of the year. In North Dakota, help arrived for overwhelmed hospitals. Nurses from the U.S. Air Force will assist the state through its deadliest month since the start of the pandemic. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York. And even with the recent surge in air travel, the number of people flying is still down by half compared to last year. Tabulators in Dane County are playing catch up today, hoping to make significant progress on counting, recounting more than 300,000 votes. The Dane County Board of Canvassers made it through about a quarter of those ballots going into today. Our Gabriella Becerra is at Monona Terrace with an update. Gabby. Well, now on day four, the recount is focusing on some of the larger areas around Madison, like Monona, Verona, Stoughton, and Sun Prairie. Now, these are the larger communities that are slowing down the count. So although the tabulators are moving faster and the observers know what they're looking for, they have more ballots and envelopes to go through. Dane County Clerk Scott McDonald says most observers most observer objections have to do with witness signatures, voter signatures, clerk initials, but they're still able to get through those pretty quickly. Actually, it's unusual in that all three parties, the Biden, Trump, and ourselves, the clerk's office and tabulators, are all on the same page that we want to complete this as soon as possible while preserving the transparency of being able to see every ballot and every envelope. McDonald says he will have a better idea at the end of the day today if they are catching up. McDonald says they'll be starting on Madison ballots in the next couple of days, and he doesn't think that they'll likely finish before Thanksgiving Day, but he do does think that they will take the holiday off. Gabriella Becerra reporting for us. Gabby, thank you. President-elect Joe Biden announced several top cabinet nominees today, but coordination for those picks continues to stall as President Trump refuses to concede. Biden has chosen Tony Blinken for Secretary of State, Jake Sullivan as National Security Advisor, and UW-Madison alumna Linda Thomas-Greenfield to become the next U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. Alejandro Alejandro Mayorkas is the first Latino American and immigrant nominated as Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. And Avril Haines has been tapped to become the first woman nominated for Director of National Intelligence. Why do you go with national security first? Because it's national security. Protesters gathered outside of the General Services Administration, which is still blocking the transition, including mandatory background checks for Joe Biden's nominees. The GSA's deputy director is expected to brief federal lawmakers next week. Well, still to come at four, there are many ways to keep yourself and others safe from COVID-19, but not everyone is paying attention. We'll look at COVID-19 through the eyes of a public health worker when Live at Four continues. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. 
finally warm the season with new winter boots. Rogan's has 20% off the best name brands for mom, dad, and the kids. Save on winter boots for the whole family at Rogan's. Selection, service, name brands, and the second pair is half price. Visit online at roganshoes.com. I want a client who comes in to feel comfortable and to know that their case is in good hands so they can relax and get on with their life as best as they can and let me do the fighting for them. That's how I want them to feel. Gingris Thompson and Walks. Noel Manor Retirement Living in Verona provides extraordinary supportive living with compassion and grace. We offer independent living, assisted living, and closer care living options. We understand that staying social is important to everyone's well-being. That's why Noel Manor provides engaging activities and ways to stay active and connect with others. There's yoga, bingo, outdoor music, and so much more, all while keeping your health and safety in mind. Noel Manor Living. Welcome home. Contact us today to set up your virtual tour. So I can get the latest phones free with no hidden requirements? Yep, all season long. And do I have to get the most expensive plan? Nope, no plan restrictions. Okay, but we have to trade in our phones. Right? Right? Nope, keep your phones. Did you trade free phones? Yep, the latest phone's free for you. Okay. Switch to U.S. Cellular and get the latest phones free, available all season long with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular, up free to fair. If your dry eye symptoms keep coming back, inflammation in your eye might be to blame. Looks like a great day for achy, burning eyes. Over-the-counter eye drops typically work by lubricating your eyes and may provide temporary relief. Ha! These drops probably won't touch me. Zydra works differently, targeting inflammation that can cause dry eye disease. What is that? Zydra? No! It can provide lasting relief. Oh. Zydra is the only FDA-approved treatment specifically for the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. One drop in each eye, twice a day. Don't use if you're allergic to Zydra. Common side effects include eye irritation, discomfort, or blurred vision when applied to the eye, and unusual taste sensation. Don't touch container tip to your eye or any surface. After using Zydra, wait 15 minutes before reinserting contacts. Got any room in your eye? Talk to an eye doctor about twice daily Zydra. I'd prefer you didn't. Zydra. Not today, dry eye. Yes. Do you have dry, cracked hands from constant washing, cold weather, and hard work? Try O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream for guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's Lip Repair. Guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked lips. The holidays brought a great surprise this year. It's my Rogan's receipt. Next time with the receipt, my purchase will be half price. Maybe some new boots. Selection, service, name brands, and the second pair is half price. Visit online at roganshoes.com. Welcome back. Researchers from Northwestern University estimate food insecurities in the U.S. doubled in the first few months after the coronavirus arrived. Thousands of Americans have been lining up outside of food banks in recent days. It's a scene playing out across the country. Jam-packed food banks like this one in Arlington, Texas, which provided Thanksgiving meals for 5,000 families. In Atlanta yesterday, people waited for hours after Tyler Perry announced he would give away Thanksgiving supplies and gift cards at his studio to the first 5,000 families. Traffic backed up for miles. The event started at 8 o'clock in the morning and the studio ran out of groceries by 10 a.m. This is the worst hunger crisis in modern American times. Unless the federal government does something big and quick, we're going to see starvation conditions like this country hasn't seen since the Great Depression. An analysis from the hunger relief organization Feeding America projects more than 50 million Americans will have experienced food insecurity in 2020. That's up around 35 million before the pandemic. Well, yesterday was the busiest day at U.S. airports since March 16th, despite warnings from health officials against traveling for the Thanksgiving holiday. There is concern travelers may unknowingly infect their loved ones with coronavirus. From packed gates at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport to long lines at LAX and the traffic at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport, more than a million people were screened at TSA checkpoints on Friday, nearly a million more on Saturday, despite the CDC urging Americans not to travel for the holiday. This feels dangerous. I'm like, um, there's a lot more people here than I thought would be here. 
AAA estimates up to 50 million Americans will travel for Thanksgiving, down from last year, but the holiday comes as the U.S. sets daily records for COVID-19 cases. Experts warn testing could provide a false sense of security because of COVID's up to 14-day incubation period. Two or three days after a negative test, you could become contagious even before showing symptoms. Well, stocks rallied on Wall Street on the promising vaccine news. The Dow Industrials gained 327 points, closing at 29,591. The NASDAQ was up 25. The S&P 500 added 20. Well, it's become routine now. Wear a mask, practice social distancing, avoid large gatherings, and wash your hands. Now, those are simple steps that we can all take to prevent the spread of COVID-19, but unfortunately, it seems that not everyone is listening. Jay Sethi is the director of the UW Health Population Health Institute and can give us a better look at this pandemic from the view of a public health official. Jay, welcome to Live at Four. Good to see yeah, you. Thank you for having me, Mark. We've been hearing the message for over eight months now, same thing over and over, but yet not everyone complies. It must be frustrating. Yeah, I mean, it is frustrating. Uh, you know, we've known from the beginning how to stop the spread of COVID. Uh, the messages have been consistent, uh, but unfortunately, people's following those uh, mitigation steps, you know, has been varying. And, and right now, we need people to, uh, you know, follow mitigation like never before. Well, we've heard some encouraging news about vaccines, and that is something that we can all be extremely thankful for. But that doesn't mean we should give up on what we're doing right now, right? That's right. I mean, the news has been encouraging, and the Food and Drug Administration is now going to be looking at data uh, to see if it's safe and effective. And when the vaccine comes, it's not going to be an overnight process. Uh, it's going to take months for the vaccine uh, to be rolled out in communities. And we've seen from COVID spread right now, it just takes a few weeks to uh, have a skyrocketing number of cases, hospitalizations, and deaths. Do we have any idea how the vaccines will be distributed? Well, it's going to be a process, and federal officials and people at the state and in the community are going to work out a system to figure out who are the first receivers of the vaccine and how long that will take. Uh, it also is going to depend on how many doses are going to be received and how quickly uh, the vaccine can be brought to the public. So if frontline healthcare workers, for example, are vaccinated first, is there any way to estimate even a ballpark estimate of when the general public might expect to get vaccinated? Yeah, and from what I'm hearing, it's not going to be soon. I mean, we're, we're definitely talking 2021, maybe even by summer 2021, maybe even beyond. Uh, but, you know, this is kind of, it's hard to know. First, we have to look at the data that the FDA is examining, uh, find out how safe, how effective, and sort of what their timeline is for releasing the vaccine. Until we get the green light from the federal government, it's really hard to know what's going to happen here in Wisconsin. So obviously, we cannot let our guard down. What kinds of public health policy needs to happen right now? Well, there already are policies, uh, but not everybody's following them. Uh, they're at the county level, they're at the state level. You know, people need to stay at home, avoid all gatherings. Wear a mask whenever you go out. Of course, wash your hands, those, that's always important. And doing those very basic things, you know, they're cheap, they're good solutions, and they do stop the spread of COVID. Do you think if we do those simple things, we can turn this thing around in the time while we're waiting for the vaccine to arrive, that we have the ability to stop the spread of this now? Yeah, I mean, we have to. And we demonstrated as a state that we could do that back in April when we had the first safe at home order. Uh, people began staying at home before the order took into effect. And, you know, the curve, so to speak, was flattened. We have to now flatten the curve again. And it, it was done before, and we can do it again. And the holidays are coming at the most inopportune time. Well, this is the time of year where people do travel, unfortunately. Um, in an ordinary year, that's great. It's good to celebrate the holidays with loved ones. This year is different. And this is a time when you spend, when you spend time with people outside your household, lots of opportunity for different bugs to spread. And COVID is clearly very deadly, very infectious, and it's not a good time for us to be surging right now. So let's wear a mask, social distance, small gatherings, wash your hands. That's right. And Jay, thanks and th for being with thanks, us today. Thanks to you at Public Health for all you do for all of us every day. Absolutely. That's right. Today's Public Health Thank You Day. So <laughs> definitely <laughs> shout out to everybody in the public health workforce. Have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. You too. Thank you.
Still to come at four, we'll find out how some local restaurants are turning up the heat. We'll find out what restaurants are doing to hopefully make it through the cold winter months coming. That's after Dana's first one forecast. Let's at the Dells with 60 of the world's biggest brands. We thrill the trendsetters and all who love a smoking hot discount. Set your alarm to rise and win on November 27th with giveaways, massive sales, and big fun. Doors open at 5 a.m. Visit outletsatthedells.com for event details. Millions of customers are leaving their providers and switching to Spectrum. And if you have satellite, it's not hard to see why. Because unlike satellite, Spectrum gives you all the services you need, like internet and TV from one provider. They do? Yeah, they do. And Spectrum has the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance. Get Spectrum Internet with speeds at 200 megabits for $44.99 a month. Call 833-909-4499. Spectrum wins on TV, too. Unlike satellite, Spectrum doesn't have an ugly dish to install. And you get exclusive premium original content with Spectrum originals. Wow, really? Really. Plus, Spectrum has more free HD and free on demand. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-909-4499. And unlike satellite providers, Spectrum doesn't have contracts or early termination fees. We'll even buy out your current contract up to $500. Switch to America's fastest growing internet TV and voice provider. Get Spectrum internet and TV from $44.99 a month each. Ask about our easy self-install options. Call 833-909-4499. We are the Thrivers, women with metastatic breast cancer. Our time for more time has come. Living longer is possible and proven in postmenopausal women taking Cascali plus Fulvestrant. In a clinical trial, Cascali plus Fulvestrant helped women live longer with HR positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer, and it significantly delayed disease progression. Cascali can cause lung problems or an abnormal heartbeat, which can lead to death. It can cause serious skin reactions, liver problems, and low white blood cell counts that may result in severe infections. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including breathing problems, cough, chest pain, a change in your heartbeat, dizziness, yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, tiredness, loss of appetite, abdomen pain, bleeding, bruising, fever, chills, or other symptoms of an infection, a severe or worsening rash, are or plan to become pregnant or breastfeeding. Avoid grapefruit during treatment. Ask your doctor about living longer with Kiskali. Good luck, honey. You got this. You got this. I believe with your investment, I can take this to the next level. Hey, Mom, come skateboard! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look out! We'll get you on some physical therapy. Dean Health Plan, we've got you covered, Taria. Good news, we'll take a thousand units. Oh, okay! Live your life with the plan for every moment. Dean Health Plan. Outlets at the Dells with 60 of the world's biggest brands. We thrill the trendsetters and all who love a smoking hot discount. Set your alarm to rise and win on November 27th with giveaways, massive sales, and big fun. Doors open at 5 a.m. Visit outletsatthedells.com for event details. Well, take a look at this. Three, two, one, see ya. You're watching Josh Newman soar through the air over California. He's basically doing a hot air balloon base jump as he swings from a huge rope after jumping off a platform outside the balloon. The camera pans back and forth before we see Josh's parachute open, but we're told it did open and he's doing fine. That would be the last <laughs> thing in the world hear. I would ever do. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> would you jump out of a hot air balloon? No, I, I don't think I could. I think I don't Dana know. might. It makes you feel alive, though. Oh, yeah. Dana, you do it. You... I skydive. I've gone skydiving before. I would absolutely jump out of a hot air balloon. I would scream the entire way down, <laughs> but I would jump. I would I'm going to scream away. tomorrow morning when I see that snow. Oh, Snooze, come on. Susan, you're lucky you got an easy commute. Yeah. Down, yeah, your, that's down true. your stairs. It's one perk of being at home. <laughs> so when's the snow coming, Dana? So we're looking at the snow chance starting. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. My fault. It's time for potentially yours here on Live Before. We don't want to mi miss this. It's, we're going to help Drake find a forever home. We can't forget the pets. He's a 10-year-old boxer mix looking for an owner who is willing to give him all of their attention. The Humane Society says he doesn't need anything other than your love. If you're interested in Drake or another pet, you can schedule an appointment online at giveshelter.org. The Humane Society also wanted to pass along that they've teamed up with UW-Madison entrepreneur students who are selling T-shirts. T-shirt sales will benefit the Humane Society. have gone until December 
November 1st to order a long or short sleeved shirt. More information at giveshelter.org. And last week's pet, Spencer, was adopted. That's good oh, news. Look that's at that good. face. Yeah. That's something to be thankful for, for sure. If you're interested in adopting or checking out any of the animals at the Dane County Humane Society, go to giveshelter.org slash schedule. And just so you're aware, they no longer take phone calls. So if you're interested in adopting a pet, you have to do it online. Let's find Drake a home. Now, Is it my turn? now my turn? to Dana. <laughs> got a lot to talk about so you guys are gonna have to give me a little bit of time with the snow coming through tomorrow it's going to make things a little messy early in the day before transitioning over to rain but we'll take a closer look at some timing coming up after this beautiful sunset and the break people were afraid I was contagious I felt gross it was kind of a shock after I started Cosentex. Four years clear. Real people with psoriasis look and feel better with Cosentex. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentex. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections and lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms. If your inflammatory bowel disease symptoms develop or worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to, serious allergic reactions may occur. Learn more at Cosentix.com. Do you have dry, cracked hands from constant washing, cold weather, and hard work? Try O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream for guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. Guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked feet. I got your back, you got mine. Think about you all the time. Together we can come through. That's what love's made of. Give thanks, no matter how you share it. Did you know that Geico's whole 15 minutes thing, <laughs> that came from me. Really, my first idea was in one quarter of an hour, your savings will tower. Uh, over you, figuratively speaking. But that's not catchy, is it? It's not going to swim about in your brain. So I thought, what about 15 minutes, 15%? Serendipity. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Let's holiday. Let's light it up and dish it up. Let's stuff turkeys as well as stockings and never miss out on the mistletoe. Let's turn fresh into festive and festive into flavorful. Let's fill the kitchen with holiday sear and make memories over a cookie dough covered table. Let's carve it and share it, then savor it with a side and know where I'd rather be. Let's make a toast to what truly matters most, because the holidays are here, and no one does the holidays like Festival Foods. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know what needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. Let us help you create your family's recipe for health. SSM Health and News 3 Now are making it easy by putting all the ingredients right at your fingertips. With topics like healthy habits, nutrition, and mental well-being, there's something for everyone. Visit Channel 3000's Time for Kids page for advice from SSM Health experts. And catch fresh and informative reports on News 3 Now. Take time for kids with SSM Health and News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Well, the wildlife is starting to take over our backyard patio. There's a bit of a chunky little squirrel right now, making sure he is all fueled up and ready to go before things get a little chilly and a little snowy outside tomorrow. We've been watching him throughout the entire commercial break get a snack. Right now we have high pressure that's keeping things uh, pretty clear for us through the next hour or so and then the cloud coverage really builds in overnight. This off to the west is what we are keeping an eye on. The system continues to move east and as it does it's going to drive a lot of moisture through the plains and into the Midwest. So while we're looking at some snow chances uh, pretty much all of the area expecting to pick up at least some sort of precipitation. Rain to the south 
south, but light snow expected to the north. And along this line, southern Wisconsin included in that, uh, we're going to see a little bit of mix early in the morning also. So it is going to be uh, a very rainy morning for our friends to the south, but for us in areas north and west, we are expecting things to be a little snowy early in the day. Once this clears off behind it, we're expecting sunshine to build in for the rest of the week. But uh, tomorrow, we're going to be keeping a close eye on the radar uh, throughout the morning and even into the afternoon with those rain chances coming through. Right now, temperatures are in the mid to upper 30s where you still have clear skies with sunset right around the corner, about 15 minutes away. The cloud coverage really starts to build in over the next few hours. Once we get closer to midnight, our temperatures holding steady close to 30 degrees and our light snow starts to build in around 3, 4 o'clock in the southwest corner of the state first and then lifts northeast. We'll see that mix continuing through Dane County and much of the area during our morning commute. So that 7, 8, 9 o'clock block temperatures will be close to freezing, so we could have some reviews, reduced visibility at times, but it's also just going to be very slippery on the roads. This will continue through mid-morning before officially transitioning over to all rain, and that rain will be the trend for the afternoon and evening. So anything that does start to accumulate uh, likely going to melt away pretty quickly in the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the 40s during the afternoon, and they'll stay that way through the evening. It's going to be a little bit of a, a soggy afternoon and evening. Mostly cloudy skies for Tuesday night, and then on Wednesday we also have the chance for some showers to pass through before we get to a clearing sky for Thanksgiving Day on Thursday. Generally, snowfall totals in that one to four inch range with the highest amounts well to the west of Dane County. I'm not expecting things to again to stick to later in the day, but early in the morning, if you're trying to leave, you're going to give yourself a little extra time for your morning commute because it is going to be just a, a bit messy outside. We do have winter weather advisories in effect. Uh, for most of our area due to the slippery roads, it's really the timing of this event while we have our alert day in the forecast. I know it's not a major accumulating event, but people just need to plan ahead and give themselves some, some extra time on the roads for their drive in. Overall, rainfall totals will be stacking up behind that snow chance coming through. We'll have soggy conditions uh, through the rest of the afternoon and evening and into, two, or into Wednesday. 40 degrees the high for tomorrow, breezy and chilly with light snow early in the day and then rain later on. For Wednesday, we have rain. But Thursday and Friday, we're back to sunshine and pretty seasonable temperatures in the 40s. In the mid to low 40s, expected into the weekend, dry conditions into the weekend as well. And that will even continue into the following week. So this event that we're watching for tomorrow and Wednesday, really our only opportunity for some measurable precipitation in that 10 day forecast. The first one's always a challenge. It's a little bit messy and like you said, uh, folks might need a bit of a refresher <laughs> of how to drive when there's a little bit of snow on the ground. I'm not pointing fingers. But. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Dana. <laughs> well, as the temperature drops, so do the number of people eating out at local restaurants. With tighter COVID restrictions in place now, one third of all restaurant owners say they may not be in business in six months. Christina Laurie explains how Madison's largest restaurant group is preparing to make it through the winter. If you haven't made it out here to Madison's east side lately, you are really missing out on a hidden gem when it comes to local dining. Here on Atwood Avenue, you have Monty's Blue Plate Diner, Bar Coralini, and Tex Tubbs Taco Palace. All three are still open right now. All three are owned by the Food Fight Restaurant Group, but the same can't be said for the group's other restaurants. The Avenue Club and Bubble Up Bar, Fresco, Johnny Delmonico's Steakhouse, and most recently, El Dorado Grill are all temporarily closed for the winter. Food Fight managers hope to reopen in the spring or whenever the number of COVID cases goes down. While some restaurants around town are experimenting with dining igloos, fire pits, and outdoor heated tents to make it through the colder months, many are finding the cost of trying to make it through COVID too much. And here's the real problem. When local restaurants close, even partially, thousands of local workers are without work. 9% of all Wisconsin employees work in the food service industry. So before you shake your head, shrug your shoulders, and think eating is essential, dining out isn't, think of all the workers that rely on your business to put food on their tables. With little help from the government right now, your support is essential. It's been like the most uplifting uh Part of the whole pandemic for us is to see our customers, not just supporting our restaurants, but knowing that supporting our whole community, uh, whether that's through us or personally, uh, there's just so many people out there um, doing a lot of work to help those in need and make sure that our community is as 
comfortable as we possibly can be in a really crazy time. Right now, indoor dining in Dane County is capped at 25%, but many of your favorite local restaurants are offering carryout and delivery options before you order from a third-party delivery site. If you really want to help the restaurant, go to their website or call them and see if you can order directly from them. That way you know all of your money is benefiting their workers. Christina, thank you so much for that. Our partners at Madison Magazine are focused on supporting local businesses in their December edition. They've compiled lists of restaurants that are still serving and others that are struggling. You can find that wherever you buy magazines at your local newsstand. We'll be right back. You were always the responsible one. So much like me. Always taking care of everyone else. But this... This wasn't your responsibility. I already took care of the arrangements. The Ryans made it so easy. I didn't want you to worry about a thing. It's my last gift to you, my lovely daughter. Are you happy with your Medicare plan? Want to get more for your money? Take a look at Quartz Medicare Advantage plans in partnership with UW Health. Quartz Medicare Advantage plans start at $0 a month, including coverage for medical, hospital, and prescriptions. With $5 primary care visits, $0 preventive care, and $0 telehealth visits. It's no wonder that 98% of our Medicare Advantage members stay with Quartz. Learn more by requesting your free planning guide from Quartz today. Quartz also offers more value, including dental, vision, and hearing benefits. And Quartz gives you extras, like dollars for over-the-counter products and fitness benefits from a plan that works closely with your doctor to take great care of you. This year, switch to Quartz Medicare Advantage. Call or go online to request your free planning guide from Quartz today. Still hard to find a spot, just easier to park. Still the big move, just more moving. Still singing, just more in tune. Still the gang's all here, just less are we there yet. The Chevy family of SUVs, making life's journey just better. Now, during the Chevy Cyber Sales event, use $500 Cyber Cash on most SUVs when you unlock your code. That's around $179 a month on this 2020 tracks for qualified lessees. Carrier has a complete line of home heating products to keep your family comfortable this winter without burning your budget. With smart temperature management and remote access options, it's easier than ever to control your home's climate. And Carrier energy efficient systems can help reduce utility bills without sacrificing comfort. For more complete comfort and greater peace of mind, turn to your Carrier expert. Harker Heating and Tonight at 5, now on day 4 of the 2020 presidential recount in Dane County. What the clerk says is slowing the process down. That story at 5. Tuesday morning is an alert day. Light snowfall is going to make the roads quite slushy outside before transitioning over to rain. We'll take a closer look at some accumulation totals and timing. And ahead at 6, a local church is reimagining its traditional community Thanksgiving meal. We'll explain how they're making sure those who are homeless can safely access a warm holiday meal. the old weather satellite a spin and we end up in Times Square where uh -huh. people are out on this Monday. The Macy's parade will not be going through Times Square this year. It's just going to go in front of the Macy's Herald Square. So that'll be a big change. And Thanksgiving week has long been a time where families gather around to watch Christmas movies and get into the spirit of the holidays. Well, things will be different this year, of course, but there are still plenty of holiday-themed movies to choose from. Our Will Loper has a look in this week's Loper Report. Hey, Mark and Susan. Well, Oscar buzz begins to heat up this week with a new film coming to Netflix tomorrow, the Ron Howard-directed Hillbilly Elegy. I know I could have done better, but you... You've got to decide you want to be somebody or not. 
The film is based on the best-selling novel, which is based on a true story about Yale Law student J.D. Vance, who finds himself remembering a turbulent past with his Appalachian family, especially with his mother, played by Amy Adams. You let her get away with this every time. I told you that I would do better. You always say that. You're lying. I always try. You gotta think about these kids. What do you think I've been thinking about since I was 18 years old, huh? Never had a life where I wasn't thinking about the kids. The film lays on the melodrama without much to say beyond surface observations like addiction is bad. But the movie shines whenever Glenn Close is on screen as Mama, bringing life into the movie and likely securing a supporting actress nomination. You've always got a reason. It's always someone else's fault. Hillbilly Elegy streams on Netflix tomorrow. But available to stream now on Netflix is the new film Dolly Parton's Christmas on the Square. Christmas is a time for killing, being at your best. Christmas is a time for sharing, knowing you've been blessed. Parton plays an angel who melts the heart of a Scrooge like Christine Baranski, who plans to evict everyone in a small town to build a mall. Christmas is a time for angels, making things all right. Amazon Prime added a new film as part of the five-part small act series titled Mangrove. There may be some who believe that they have been the victim of injustice at the hands of the police. Other. The film is based on the true story of nine people wrongly arrested for incitement of a riot and the courtroom drama that follows. New on the streaming service Shutter is Leap of Faith, William Friedkin on The Exorcist. I didn't want any backstory, no flashbacks, just a straight ahead story that was done as realistically as possible. Director William Friedkin takes us on a journey on the making and behind the scenes of the classic 1973 horror film. Everything has to do with the mystery of fate or faith. And The Exorcist is about the mystery of faith. And finally, Hulu rebooted the 90s animated series, The Animaniacs. Hello. Reboots are symptomatic of a fundamental lack of originality in Hollywood. Have you no shame? Here's your check for The Animaniacs reboot, you sellouts. If you're waiting for your favorite animated series to be rebooted, it's only a matter of time. In the works, there's already the Jetsons, the Rugrats, and, well, this. <laughs> for Live at Four, I'm Will Loper, sending it back to you. And there's that. Still to come for as we head into the holidays, thousands of UW health workers have a message. Stay home. And they put their money where their collective mouths are, taking out a two-page ad in the Sunday newspaper. More on their message when Live at Four continues. Briggs, all I want for Christmas is a beautiful decorated pot. Just I like this. think we can arrange that for you, it's, Emmy. It's all you need. We're here at the Bruce Company outside in their beautiful outdoor space getting ready for your Christmas tree purchase. That is right. So Christmas trees have been delivered. All of the Christmas trees that we sell here at the Bruce Company are grown in Wisconsin family farms. So you're supporting uh, local businesses and the Christmas tree buying experience is really easy here at the Bruce Company. You pick out your tree, we'll put a fresh cut on it, tie it to your car, net it, and you're on your way. Away you go. And how many different kinds of trees do you have? We have balsam fir, fraser fir, and white pine in sizes from four to five feet all the way up to 12. And then once you get the big boy tree, then you just want to grab one of these, you throw it on your porch, you're done. It looks great. Yes. It's timeless, yes. beautiful. Yes, and once you've got your tree up, it's time to talk about what you're going to put underneath it. Let's go inside. Okay. Voila, just like that. It's the magic of the holidays. The tree's done, it's cut, Ooh. it's decorated. Absolutely. And now what are you going to put underneath it? Ooh, some beautiful gifts. Look at this. I know. Pick a pine cone. It's a little pop art. Oh, so cute. What do you have? I love these trivia family games. Oh, they're so Got fun with your family around All kinds holidays. of topics, including this 
one that is all about Christmas trivia, which is so much fun. Smarty pants. And if you are shopping for gardeners in your life, we have seed for 2021. We have beautiful bulbs and blooming plants. And you can always visit our boutique where you find gifts for guys, gifts for girls, beautiful jewelry, um, body lotions, snazzy outfits. We've got something for everybody on your list. She said it. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas from everyone here at the Bruce Company. I'm Emmy Fink. And I'm Lisa Briggs. And, and we are buzzed, buzzed into, into Madison. Madison. Ho, ho, ho. Knoll Manor Retirement Living in Verona provides extraordinary supportive living with compassion and grace. We offer independent living, assisted living, and closer care living options. We understand that staying social is important to everyone's well-being. That's why Knoll Manor provides engaging activities and ways to stay active and connect with others. There's yoga, bingo, outdoor music, and so much more, all while keeping your health and safety in mind. Knoll Manor Living. Welcome home. Contact us today to set up your virtual tour. You okay, Mom? Physical therapy might be a good idea for her. Huh? Hey, Alice. Dean's got you covered. This was a great plan, Grandma. Live your life <laughs> with the plan for every moment. Dean Health Plan. Right now, much of southern Wisconsin looks okay. We are keeping an eye on one crash near Sun Prairie, 19 or Main Street uh, westbound. The road is closed all lanes right now from Whitetail Drive to Wood Violet Lane due to uh, an accident there. Again, that's near Sun Prairie. The rest of Dane County, we aren't seeing delays along the Beltline nor along the interstate right now. The same goes all the way through Rock County. From Janesville to the Beltline, we're at about 26 minutes. Sauk City to Middleton, closer to 17. And Sun Prairie to downtown, about nine minutes this evening. That's a quick look at traffic. All right, Tina, thank you. 2020, a little confusing year, so it's only fitting Oxford English Dictionary's word of the year isn't just one word. The dictionary folks, the word people, whoever, said 2020 just wasn't a year that could neatly be accommodated in one word. So there's a list of them. Some of the words of an unprecedented year include brush fire, COVID-19, lockdown, circuit breaker, moonshot, Black Lives Matter. Well, here's a good one. Oops, sorry, I had to unmute. Get it? All right. If you get the Wisconsin State Journal, Sunday mornings you saw a large open letter signed by thousands of UW Health employees. This is what it looked like, and it urges Wisconsin families to work together to get through the pandemic. Earlier today, we talked to the author of the letter, Dr. Ann Sheehy, a hospitalist currently working with COVID-19 patients. Well, I think um, we had a group, a group of clinical providers thinking about how we would potentially staff the next surge of patients we had to staff those next uh, uh, services we would need. And I think we realized we were really running out of a lot of good options and felt a sense of urgency and how could we potentially avoid that next group of patients needing our help. And so really decided our best chance was to reach out to the people of Wisconsin and ask for their help, ask for their partnership with us. Was it hard to get people, uh, health professionals to sign on to this? Actually, it was it was amazing. Um, we um, published, put the letter out um, on Thursday evening and by noon on Friday, we had more than 2,000 signatures. So clearly, this was a message our entire team felt very strongly about and was very supportive of putting this message out to the public. What is the message you're hoping people receive from seeing this? Yeah, I think, you know, we really wanted to put forth a message of unity and, um, you know, support to the community and just really say that, you know, you're our best hope at this point. You know, we, we need the people of Wisconsin to help us now. And what happens outside the walls of the hospital is going to determine how we care for patients within the walls of the hospital. And so it really is up to the people of Wisconsin at this point. And we're really hoping that they will make some changes in their behavior, especially this week with Thanksgiving and being hunting season. Um, if people can think about doing things a little bit differently, I think that will give us a lot of uh, breathing room in the hospital. I was going to ask you if the timing of this, it was because of Thanksgiving was coming up. What is your message to, for people and Thanksgiving? 
Well, I think one of the unfortunate things about COVID-19 is so many people are asymptomatic or have minimal symptoms. And so they go about doing their usual activities or attending that Thanksgiving dinner. And I would just say, you know, people attend Thanksgiving with the people they care most about. And those are the people that they are going to risk spreading this disease to. And so I would just ask people to think about really putting a pause on their plans. I know that's difficult to do, but doing things virtually this year, um, celebrating with just your immediate household. And we will get to a better place soon. We have a vaccine on the horizon. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, but we need to do some really hard things right now to make sure we get through this. What is the current situation in our hospitals? How serious a situation is it at this present time? Well, right now, we're really lacking um, space and staff to serve all of the patients we need to at University Hospital. And I know that's the situation around the state. And so it isn't just patients with COVID-19, it's patients who need us for other health conditions like cancer or heart disease or other injuries or emergencies. And so we're worried that we're very close to a situation where we won't be able to get to people in time. They won't be able to get into our doors. And that's a terrifying thing for a healthcare provider to think about that we could help someone if we could just reach them in time. And so I think the the situation right now is 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 pretty dire. If we don't see changes around the state, our systems will be overwhelmed. So the message remains the same. Wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands. Exactly. All of those things. And I know people have heard that message a thousand times, um, but that's really what we need people to do now. And I guess the, the additional piece of information is, is now we can say that we think there is a light at the end of the tunnel with a vaccine, you know, several vaccines on the horizon. Hopefully people can do this for just a little bit longer and we'll get closer to the va vaccine and uh, get everyone through this safely. And we'll have Thanksgiving next year. Yes, exactly. Doctor, thanks for being with us today. Thanks Dr. Sheehy, great to see you. Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. You as well. We'll be right back. Keep your home and family warm and cozy this winter with a new degree of comfort from your local Ream contractor. Feel the Wooler's difference. Call Wooler's Heating and Air Conditioning today. Serving Dane County for over 45 years. How do I use better than bouillon? I just add a spoonful to my marinades. To stir fries? Sauces. Just whisk it in. Brush it on? Saute. It adds a cooked all day taste. That doesn't take all day. Better than bouillon. Don't just make it, make it better. Over time, things wear down. Tires, brakes, and headlight bulbs too. Sylvania's lighting experts know that if you wait until burnout, you'll lose up to 50 feet of visibility. That's from here to here in darkness. Switch to a new pair of Sylvania bulbs today and see better tonight. We've been helping families make joy for over 100 years, and we're not taking this year off. So the Ford Built for the Holiday sales event begins now. We're giving you the best deals of the season on select Ford SUVs and Ford Fusion. So get the family together and make some joy this season. Ford, built for the holidays. Choose FlexBuy and get Fusion with 0 for 66 financing plus 1,500 cash back and 2,000 trade assist, or lease one for just $199. Thinking about your financial plan? So are we. Prudential helps 25 million people with their financial needs. With over 90 years of investment experience, our thousands of financial professionals can help. Go to Prudential.com or talk to an advisor. Is your home giving you the cold shoulder? Fight back with a new energy-saving furnace from your local Ream contractor. Feel the Wooler's difference. Call Wooler's Heating and Air Conditioning today. Serving Dane County for over 45 years. Tonight, five COVID-19 cases are on the rise, but another vaccine is showing some promising results. Plus, as COVID-19 cases increase inside the Dane County Jail, inmates are frustrated with the conditions inside, what the sheriff is saying at 5. At News 3 Now, the FCC allowed us to boost the power of our broadcast signal. If you watch us using an antenna, you may need to activate the scan function on your TV menu to rescan available channels so you can continue to enjoy News 3 Now and CBS programming. Please rescan your TVs today. Connect with News 3 Now on Facebook Messenger to create a personalized news feed just for you. The topics you want, the day's top stories, and push alerts for breaking news all through Messenger. Learn more at channel3000.com. 
A winter weather advisory is in effect for Tuesday morning. This is an alert for Mark. That way he's ready to go for early <laughs> in the day. We do have some light snow chances developing. Right now Doppler track is pretty quiet for us, but as we look to the south, we can see some moisture starting to move through Iowa into parts of Illinois. Our alert day for tomorrow really is just the morning as that snow is going to be coming down during the morning commute. Anywhere from one to four inches expected with the heaviest totals, mainly northwest of Madison. So please keep yourself plenty of extra time if you are trying to hit the road early in the day. I consider myself advised. Good, Thank good. you, Dana. Tomorrow on Live Before, Consumer Reports has some tips to help you fly safer. And nutritionist Donna Wyoffen has some tips on how to scale back on the size of your Thanksgiving get-together with your immediate family. That's coming up tomorrow. We'll be right back. Celebrate the holidays with custom gifts from Madison Top Company. Clothing, mugs, ornaments, and more. Ready as fast as one hour with their lightning service. Buy local with fast, custom-printed gifts at madisontop.com since 1974. If your dry eye symptoms keep coming back, inflammation in your eye might be to blame. Looks like a great day for achy, burning eyes. Over-the-counter eye drops typically work by lubricating your eyes and may provide temporary relief. Ha! These drops probably won't touch me. Zydra works differently, targeting inflammation that can cause dry eye disease. What is that? Zydra? No! It can provide lasting relief. Oh. Zydra is the only FDA-approved treatment specifically for the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. One drop in each eye, twice a day. Don't use if you're allergic to Zydra. Common side effects include eye irritation, discomfort, or blurred vision when applied to the eye, and unusual taste sensation. Don't touch container tip to your eye or any surface. After using Zydra, wait 15 minutes before reinserting contacts. Got any room in your eye? Talk to an eye doctor about twice daily Zydra. I'd prefer you didn't. Zydra, not today, dry eye. Kiss. We made USAA insurance for members like Martin, an Air Force veteran made of doing what's right, not what's easy. So when a hailstorm hit, USAA reached out before he could even inspect the damage. That's how you do it right. USAA insurance is made just the way Martin's family needs it. With hassle-free claims, he got paid before his neighbor even got started. Because doing right by our members, that's what's right. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. USAA. Outlets at the Dells, an attraction not to be missed. With over 60 of the world's biggest brands, we thrill family gift givers, trendsetters, and all who love a smoking hot discount. We are all about the deal, the joy of finding the ultimate stocking stuffer, the perfect bag for the fashionista on your list, the holiday outfit that makes you shine, and the discounts that no one else can touch. Set your alarm to rise and win on November 27th with giveaways, massive sales, and big fun. Doors open at 5 a.m. Visit outletsatthedells.com for event details. Celebrate the holidays with custom gifts from Madison Top Company. Clothing, mugs, ornaments, and more. Ready as fast as one hour with their lightning service. Buy local with fast, custom-printed gifts at madisontop.com since 1974. In today's final touch, and you thought the election was over. Voting is now underway for which lucky turkey will get the honor of being pardoned by President Trump. The two birds going beak to beak are named Corn and Cobb, both raised on a farm in Iowa. They made their public debut at a press conference in Washington, D.C. today. 